Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see what is Azure Bastion Services and how to deploy that in Azure and what are the advantages that we are going to get if we use Azure Bastion Services. So let's get started with the video. So this is the architectural diagram to explain the Azure Bastion Service. So you can find this architectural diagram in the official documentation of Azure. So I'll put this link in the description of this video so that you can check this. And in this architectural diagram, the blue dotted lines that you are seeing here, this is the Azure virtual network. And inside this virtual network, you can see we have one subnet. And inside this subnet, we have three virtual machines running. And these virtual machines do not have the public IP address attached. These machines only have the private IP address. So if you want to SSH, or RDP into any of these machines from outside of this Azure network, you cannot SSH or RDP into these machines. The reason is these machines do not have the public IP address. So using the private IP address, you cannot SSH from outside of these virtual network. So is there a way that you can SSH or RDP into these machines without attaching the public IP address to these machines? The answer is yes. You can make use of the Azure PaaS service called Azure Bastion. So you can deploy this Azure Bastion in a dedicated subnet called Azure Bastion subnet in a virtual network. So this Azure Bastion will have the public IP address. And here you can see the users will use the Azure portal from the browser. And from there, they will connect to the Azure Bastion and from Azure Bastion, they will connect to the virtual machine. So here, Azure Bastion will establish the RDP or SSH connection to these machines using the private IP address of the machine. It will not use public IP address to establish the SSH or RDP connection. So in this way, you can still connect to the virtual machines, which does not have the public IP address using the Azure Bastion service. And one thing that you have to keep in mind is this Azure Bastion should be deployed in a dedicated subnet called Azure Bastion subnet. So this naming convention should be exact. So if you change the subnet name, then it will not allow us to deploy Azure Bastion in that subnet. And one more thing that you have to keep in mind while creating the Azure Bastion subnet. So this subnet should at least have minimum of slash 26 prefix. So let's see this in demo so that it will be more clearer for you. So I am in the Azure portal. So first let me create the virtual network and the subnet. So click on here and search for virtual network. Click on create. So the resource group, I'll keep it as it is. And in your case, if you don't have the resource group already created, then you can click on create new and create the resource group. And the virtual network name, let me give this as demo iPhone VNet. And I'll go on to the security. I'll keep everything as it is. And I'll go on to the next. And I'll keep everything as it is. I will change the subnet name. So let me change this as subnet A and click on save and let me click on review and create. Click on create to create the virtual network. So here you can see the virtual network has been created. Now let's create the virtual machines inside that virtual network. So you can click on the search and search for virtual machines. Click on virtual machines. Click on create virtual machine. And here, let me provide the same resource group demo hyphen RG. And let me give the name as Ubuntu iPhone VM. And I'm providing the image as Ubuntu server 
and I'll keep the size as it is. And instead of search publicly, I'll provide the username and password. So I'll provide as demo user. So once you provide this SSH username and passwords, we will use this username and password to SSH or RDP into these machines. So make sure you save this username and password somewhere. So if you come down, we'll be opening the port 22 in order to SSH into these machines. So if I click on this, I'll keep everything as it is and go on to the networking section. And here, in the virtual network as demo vnet, which we have created, and the subnet as subnet A. And here, make sure you disable the public IP address so we don't need the public IP address for this machine. And keep everything as it is. Go on to the management section and everything keep as it is. So click on review and create. Click on create the virtual machine. So you can see the virtual machine has been created. Um, let's create one more virtual machine. So click on create virtual machine. I'll provide the resource group as demo hyphen RG. And this time I'll provide the name as Windows iPhone VM. So instead of Ubuntu image, I'll be using the Windows Server 2022 and I'll keep the machine size as it is. So I'll provide the username and password. I'll provide the username as demo user and I'll provide the password. And so since we are creating the Windows virtual machine, we need to open the port 3389 in order to RDP into these machines. And if I click on this, I'll keep everything as it is and go on to the networking system. So I'm creating this virtual machine in the same virtual network and the same subnet. And make sure you disable the public IP address for this one as well. And let's keep everything as it is and click on review plus create. And click on create. So now you can see virtual machine has been created. So if I go on to the virtual machines, so you can see we have two virtual machine. One is Ubuntu and the second one is the Windows. And if I scroll to the right, you can see we don't have the public IP address assigned to these machines. So now let's go on to the Bastion and click on Bastion to create the Azure Bastion service. So click on create. So here, let me provide the same resource group and let me give the name as demo iPhone Bastion and make sure you provide the same region where you have created the virtual network and the virtual machines. So let me go with the East US and I'm providing the instance count as two. So this is the minimum and let me select the virtual network. And here you can see, as we discussed earlier, so we need to have a subnet, a dedicated subnet for this Bastion. And that name should be Azure Bastion subnet. And it should contain the prefix of at least slash 26. So let me open a new tab. And let me go to the virtual networks. Let me go to the demo VNet, which we have created earlier and if I go on to the subnets so here we have only subnet A so let me create a new subnet and the name of the subnet should be Azure Bastion subnet so let me provide that Azure Bastion subnet and the prefix should be at least 26 so let me go with 24 25 or 26 anything but it should be at least 26 so let me go with slash 24 
and click on save so this will create the subnet in demo hyphen vnet virtual network so here you can see we have created one subnet and if i go here and let me refresh this page and let me provide the same details demo hyphen rg and the name of the bastion is demo hyphen bastion and if i select the virtual network now you can see it is automatically uh, to the azure bastion subnet by default and if i come down make sure you create a public ip address so it should have the public ip address so that we can connect to the bastion and next go to the tags so keep everything as it is and click on advanced so here um, you have different options you can go with kerberos authentication if you need and ip based connections so based on your requirement you can go with any of these options so but for now i'll go with as it is and click on review and create and click on create so this will create the bastion service so it will take around 8 to 10 minutes to create this azure bastion service so let me pause the recording and i'll get back once this is completed so after 8 to 10 minutes you can see bastion service has been created so let me go on to this resource. So here you can see Azure Bastion service and we have the public IP address attached. Now let's say if you want to SSH into any of the virtual machines in this virtual network, let me go on to the virtual machines. So here you can see we don't have any public IP address and let me open the Ubuntu VM. And if I, And if I want to connect to this Ubuntu VM, if I want to SSH into this machine, click on connect. So here you will get more options to SSH into these machines. Uh, if you see here, you will get an option called go to Bastion. So click on this one. And it will ask for the username and password that you have mentioned while creating the virtual machine. So let me provide that username and password here. The username will be demo user and it will provide the password. And once you provide the username and password, click on connect. So this will open a new tab in the browser. So here you can see I'm into the machine. So if I type host name and if i click on enter you can see i am inside the ubuntu hyphen vm so this is the user using which i have ssh into the machine ubuntu hyphen vm so in the same way if i want to rdp into the windows machine click on the windows machine here and click on connect So in the same way, you will get different options to RDP into the machine. Um, go to the go to Bastion option. So it will ask for the username and password. So let me provide the same demo user and let me provide the password. And click on connect. So this will RDP into the Windows machine. So here you can see I'm um, RDP into the Windows machine. So you can see here uh, I'm inside the Windows machine. So I have successfully RDP into this Windows machine that I have created using the Azure Bastion service. So in this way, you can use Azure Bastion service to SSH or RDP into the virtual machines that you have created in the same virtual network.